Crowds gathered at the Old Waveland School Thursday to hug one another and shake hands while remembering the ones they lost during Katrina. This school was the only building left standing on Coleman Avenue after Katrina devastated the small town. The school is now newly renovated and stands as the Ground Zero Museum. Katrina brought us together and this museum is a place where we can all go and we can remember the lives that were lost. Well, I think this memorial is really just a testament to the resiliency of the people of Waveland and the people of Hancock County. So many people in Waveland lost their homes that this is the only bricks and mortar of their childhood. Everything was leveled and this building brings back so many memories to people whose tangible memories are gone. The museum is full of old pictures framed by the wood of broken windows left after the storm. We were looking through the pictures and we see a cousin that's been dead since 66. But we didn't even realize that he had gone to school here. The museum's biggest attraction is a carousel, donated by the Port Townsend Carousel Association in Washington State. They said it's magic and our children need it. And every child who has been in here loves the carousel. The people of Hancock County haven't forgotten how far they've come eight years later. They knew that a community without hope uh, would be lost. So that's what our volunteers gave to us. We found a way to turn lemons into lemonade, and, and that's just the type of folks we are. Some choose to see a silver lining for the Gulf Coast. Bigger, better, and stronger than we've ever been before. In Waveland, Sarah Duffy, News 25, your local choice.